The epicenter of investigations into the Ducit 2 attack has now shifted to Isiolo County, where it is emerging that the planning of the attack took place. Well, police are tonight looking for six men believed to rank high up in an Al-Shabaab sleeper cell operating from Isiolo County. That's right, and as Hassan Mugambi tells us, investigators have also established the route taken in and out of the country by the fighters recruited in Isiolo County. The suspects believed to have crafted the execution of the Dusit attack on 14 Riverside Drive include Dido Mohamed Fugicha, alias Ndingdong, also known as Doktor, Hussein Aden Hussein, alias Eto, Gaddafi, also known as Munene, Abdi Ali Kanchora, Boru Abdi Bidu, and Ramadan Wario Bonaya, also known as Rasho. Sources privy to the high-level operation to arrest them have told Citizen TV that the suspects are responsible for the formation of one of the most active Al-Shabaab recruitment cells in Isiolo County, formed between May and June of 2017. It is the very sleeper cell that is said to have recruited Ali Salim Gishunge, who police say played a major role in the Dusit attack. He spent most of his life in Isiolo's Kulamawe estate. Top on police wanted list is Ibrahim Abdul Rahman Mohammed, alias Van Pasi, who is based in Somalia. Van Pasi is said to be a key recruiter and a facilitator for Isiolo recruits. He schooled in Isiolo Boys Secondary School and would entice his former schoolmates to join him in Somalia. His target being secondary school students in Isiolo and motorbike riders who have continuously gone missing under unclear circumstances. He is said to use money and a better life for families of recruits as bait. Police have also established the route taken by youth radicalized and recruited from Isiolo County to avoid detection. They move from Isiolo town to Moyale into Takaba then Elwak in Mandera County before entering Somalia. In February 2018, security officers intercepted this car in a dry riverbed in Merti, Isiolo County, ringed with explosives and an assortment of weaponry. One Al-Shabaab operative was killed and two others arrested after a firefight with police. They are said to be part of the Isiolo sleeper cell. They were headed to Nairobi for an attack which police say would have been the worst terror attack had it not been halted. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.